Med history. Jaw tumors are neoplasms of the jaw bones that originate directly from bone tissue or structures of the odontogenic apparatus. Jaw tumors can manifest themselves clinically as pain syndrome, bone deformity, facial asymmetry, displacement and mobility of teeth, impaired TMJ and swallowing function, often by germination into the nasal cavity, maxillary sinus, orbit, etc. Diagnosis of jaw tumors involves x-ray examination, Connecticut scan, scintigraphy, if necessary, consultation with an optometrist, otolaryngologist, rhinoscopy. Treatment of benign tumors of the jaws is only surgical, curatage, resection of a fragment of the jaw, tooth extraction, malignant combined radiation therapy and surgery, transmissible malignant disease of the Tasmanian devil. It was first described in Australia in 1996. In the following decade, the disease spread so much that it led to a decrease in the number of the species by 20 to 50 percent in 65 percent of the range, mainly in the eastern part of the island of Tasmania. The tumor is characterized by high aggressiveness and 100 percent mortality of infected animals within 12, 18 months. The initial symptoms of the disease are manifested in lesions and swelling around the mouth of the Tasmanian devil, which later develops into malignant tumors that spread from the animal's muzzle to the entire body. When tumors lead to the inability to feed, the animal starves to death. The reason? The question of the causality of jaw tumors is in the process of being studied. To date, the connection of the tumor process with the following conditions has been proven. Simultaneous or chronic trauma, bruising of the jaw, damage to the mucous membrane of the oral cavity by teeth destroyed by caries, tartar, edges of fillings, incorrectly fitted crowns and prostheses, etc. Long-term inflammatory processes, chronic periodontitis, osteomyelitis of the jaw, actinomycosis, sinusitis, etc. Do not exclude the possibility of developing tumors of the jaw against the background of foreign bodies of the maxillary sinuses, filling material, tooth roots, etc. Exposure to adverse physical and chemical factors, ionizing radiation, radioiodine therapy, smoking, etc. Secondary malignant tumors of the jaws can be metastases of breast, prostate, thyroid, kidney cancer, the result of local spread of tongue cancer, etc. Jaw cancer can develop against the background of precancerous processes, oral leukoplakia, benign oral tumors, papillomas, leucoceratosis, etc. Symptoms of jaw tumors, benign odontogenic tumors of the jaws. Ameloblastoma is the most common odontogenic tumor of the jaws, prone to invasive, locally destructive growth. It mainly affects the lower jaw in the area of its body, angle, or branch. It develops intraosseous, can grow into the soft tissues of the bottom of the oral cavity and gums. It is more common at the age of 20, 40 years. In the initial period, ameloblastoma is asymptomatic, but as the tumor size increases, jaw deformity and facial asymmetry occur. Teeth in the affected area often become mobile and shift, and toothache may occur. A tumor of the upper jaw can grow into the nasal cavity, maxillary sinus, orbit, deform the hard palate and alveolar process. Cases of suppuration, recurrence, and malignancy of ameloblastoma are not uncommon. The clinical course of such jaw tumors as ameloblastic fibroma and odontoameloblastoma resembles ameloblastoma. Odontoma occurs more often in children under the age of 15. Tumors are usually small in size and asymptomatic, but they can cause delayed eruption of permanent teeth, diastema, and tremors. Tumors of large size can lead to deformation of the jaw, the formation of fistulas. Odontogenic fibroma develops from the connective tissue of the dental bud. It occurs more often in childhood. Tumor growth is slow. Localization is on the upper or lower jaw. Odontogenic fibroma is usually asymptomatic. In some cases, there may be aching pains, tooth retention, and inflammatory phenomena in the tumor area. Cementoma is a benign tumor of the jaw, almost always soldered to the root of the tooth. It develops more often in the area of premolars or molars of the lower jaw. It proceeds asymptomatically or with mild pain on palpation. Occasionally, multiple giant cementoma occurs, 
which may be a hereditary disease. Benign non-ontogenic tumors of the jaw's osteoma may have intraosseous or superficial exophytic growth. The tumor can spread to the maxillary sinus, nasal cavity, eye socket, interfere with the storage of dentures. Osteomas of the mandibular localization cause pain, asymmetry of the lower part of the face, impaired jaw mobility, maxillary localization, nasal breathing disorders, exophthalmos, diplopia, and other disorders. Osteoid osteoma is accompanied by intense pain syndrome, which worsens at night, during meals, facial asymmetry. When examining the oral cavity, bone bulging is determined, more often in the area of premolars and molars of the lower jaw, hyperemia of the mucous membrane. Hemangioma of the jaw is relatively rarely isolated and in most cases is combined with hemangioma of the soft tissues of the face and oral cavity. Vascular tumors of the jaws are manifested by increased bleeding of the gums, bleeding from the root canals in the treatment of pulpitus or periodontitis, from the well during tooth extraction, etc. Upon examination, fluctuation, looseness of teeth, cyanosis of the mucous membrane may be detected. Malignant tumors of the jaws. Malignant tumors of the jaws are three, four times less common than benign ones. With jaw cancer, pain occurs early, having an irradiating character, mobility and tooth loss. Pathological fractures of the jaw are possible. Malignant tumors of the jaws destroy bone tissue, parotid and submandibular glands, masticatory muscles grow, metastasize to cervical and submandibular lymph nodes, maxillary carcinoma can grow into the eye socket, nasal cavity, or trellis maze. In this case, recurrent nosebleeds, unilateral purulent rhinitis, difficulty in nasal breathing, headaches, lacrimation, exophthalmos, diplopia, chemosis are noted. When branches of the trigeminal nerve are involved, otalgias are disturbed. Malignant tumors of the mandible infiltrate the soft tissues of the bottom of the mouth and cheeks early, ulcerate, bleed. Due to contractures of the pterygoid and masticatory muscles, it is difficult to close and open teeth. Osteogenic sarcomas are characterized by rapid growth, rapidly progressive infiltration of soft tissues, facial asymmetry, unbearable pain, early metastasis to the lungs and other organs. Diagnostics. In most cases, jaw tumors are diagnosed already in the late stages, which is explained by the non-specificity of symptoms or asymptomatic course, low oncological alertness of the population and specialists, dentists, otolaryngologists, etc. Careful medical history collection, visual and palpatory examination of the soft tissues of the face and oral cavity can help in detecting tumors of the jaws. A mandatory stage of diagnosis is X-ray examination, radiography and CT of the jaws, radiography and CT of the paranasal sinuses. Scintigraphy and thermography may have a certain diagnostic value, a biopsy. If enlarged cervical or submandibular lymph nodes are detected, a puncture biopsy of the lymph node is performed. Consultations of related specialists. If a malignant tumor of the jaw is suspected, an otolaryngologist should be consulted with rhinoscopy and pharyngoscopy an ophthalmologist with a comprehensive ophthalmological examination. Diagnostic operations. In some cases, it is necessary to resort to diagnostic sinusitis or diagnostic puncture of the paranasal sinus, followed by cytological examination of the washing waters. The final histological verification is carried out using a morphological examination of the biopsy. Treatment of jaw tumors. The treatment of most benign tumors of the jaws is surgical. The most optimal is the removal of the neoplasm with resection of the jawbone within healthy boundaries. Such a volume of intervention allows to prevent recurrence and possible malignancy of the tumor. Teeth adjacent to the tumor are also often subject to extraction. It is possible to remove some benign tumors of the jaws which are not prone to recurrence by a gentle method using curatage. For malignant tumors of the jaws, a combined treatment method is used. Gamma therapy followed by surgical treatment, resection or exarticulation of the jaw, lymphadenectomy, exoneration of the orbit, surgery on the paranasal sinuses, etc. In advanced cases, palliative radiation therapy or chemotherapy is prescribed. In the post operative period, especially after extensive resections, patients may require orthopedic treatment with special splints, 
reconstructive surgery, bone grafting, long-term functional rehabilitation to restore the functions of chewing, swallowing, and speech. Forecast, with timely and radical treatment of benign odontogenic and non-odontogenic tumors of the jaws, the prognosis for life is good. In the case of a non-radicalized operation or an incorrect assessment of the nature of the tumor, there is a possibility of recurrence or malignancy. The course of malignant tumors of the jaws is extremely unfavorable. In cancer and sarcoma of the jaw, the five-year survival rate of patients after combined treatment is less than 20%.